It's a really proud moment for myself and my family, you know, my first professional contract at 16. Um, obviously at Pats is where I wanted to do it as well and I'm happy that they've seen the potential in me to, to offer it. So, you know, just again, really, really happy with myself. Yeah, um, I'm delighted. Um, I'm buzzing, raring to go. Um, ready to give it my all training and matches. Yeah, it was it was good, like very good feeling. Um, family were happy, agents happy, like everyone uh, involved with me were very happy. So yeah, I was happy signing the deal as well. So yeah. Talk me through your time at St Pat so far since you signed for the under 15s a couple of years ago. Yeah, so I signed uh, about a year and a half ago now. Played a good uh, good few games with the 15s, half the season with the 17s. Um, and then obviously this year I'm up at 19 so you know within the space of a year playing with three different age groups it's been really really good you know I've got to play with different players top quality players as well um, and you know Pats are a club that uh, help play the way that I want to play and the way football should be played so yeah you know it's been really really good Talk us through your time at St Pat so far you had a successful couple of years a double of 15s and you also were uh, Playing in the 19s final, won the 19s league as well just before Christmas last year. Yeah, exactly. Um, the 15, uh, the double to 15s was uh, very good. Um, like we, I played a major role in that. Um, together as a team, like we were, we were one as a unit, and um, yeah, it was very good uh, for the 19s as well. It was a bit of a step up for me. Like I was still quite young, and then I was put into the game, but I enjoyed it. Like I enjoyed the experience. Um, yeah, it was really good. And you've been in with the first team for the last few weeks. You were on the bench for the first time for the derby against Bohemians on Friday. So, how have you found the step up with the training and even be involved in, in a match day squad on Friday? Yeah, it's, um, it's a big step up to be honest. Like um, technically, the players are good. Um, it's quite physical as well, so you need to be up up for that too. Um, yeah, the match match day experience was brilliant. Like um, I enjoy being on the bench. Hopefully, many more to come. Yeah, um, you know, I've been trying probably being involved in the squad on Friday. You kind of felt a bit more involved, you know. Um, I've been like to think I've been doing well in China. I've been working hard, um, and you know, I think the gaffer seen that, and that's why he included me, you know. Um, but yeah, look, obviously, the like the players that you said, like so Chris Forrester, Benson, you know, Lennon, Alfie Lewis, they're all really, really good players, and especially as a midfielder, I can learn off the likes of them, you know, them them senior pro players, and they're really, really good for young players like myself and other midfielders like King Carberry and Ben, you know, all coming in as well. Delighted to have Adam and James obviously signing with us also. Uh, James has been in with us the last few weeks, done really well, playing well for the under-19s and has fitted in and been very comfortable in the training uh, with the first team. And uh, Adam's been in with us a little bit longer. Any opportunity he could have, he's been sort of in with us. So um, delighted to get both of them, both top prospects. They're a little probably in their development, a little bit obviously age-wise behind maybe Ben and Dara and Keen Corbley in that but um you know they've they've been very much at home and, and really impressing and training and again both boys with, with very good attitudes and we're looking forward to developing them also. I found it like very good, like a good experience. Like I've been used to it since I was young. Like I've always been tested, put up uh, playing like a year or two above my age. So yeah, I was basically kinda used to it. So yeah. And it's something that I'm sure you've you've quite enjoyed. And and you know, if you look at the first team now, with centre backs the likes of Lee Desmond, who's been here so long, is is already, you know, a, a real club legend. And then people like Sam Bone and Paddy Barrett in their first year with the club. But proper experienced centre backs. Have you enjoyed training with them and being around them? Yeah, I have. Um, trying to learn a bit from Lee. Like um, he's a very good centre back. I, I like him a lot. Paddy as well. Sam. They're all very good centre backs. So yeah, hopefully I can pick up a bit from their game and add it to my game. Started off a letter Kenny Rovers. Um, and then I moved on to Melview and Longford. I was there for a few years, um, really enjoyed my time over there. Then obviously I moved to Cherry Orchard. Um, it, it was a big step up for me, like coming from Longford to DDSL. But I um, uh, give credit to my manager, Richard Shannon. Um, he really helped me, improved me a lot. And then from Cherry Orchard, moved to St. Pat's and that's where I am till now, yeah. So before Pat's, I was at Belvedere. I was with them for a good few years. Think about six. Um, started off when I was eight, moved when I was 14, you know, they really, really helped me, you know, they played a big part in, in where I am today and, you know, have nothing but respect and, and can't thank them enough for, for what they've done, you know, I really enjoy playing with Belvedere. Yeah, you turned 16 recently enough as well, Adam, and with the way the rules are now, with not going to the UK till people are 18 because of Brexit and stuff, it's, it's, it's something that's going to develop with Ireland over the next couple of years and you're also going to do your education through St Pat's, which is important, you might tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so I'm very grateful that Pat's have 
given me the opportunity to uh, to move school, go to a private school, which will allow me to do full time training, as well as go to school full time as well. Um, you know, education is important to me, and I feel the school that I'm going to the institute is you know going to help me a lot. I think the key thing is Jay is that they're all so good. They're really good footballers and. And they're really good kids as well. They want to train well. They want to play well. Uh, they want to perform all the time. And when they go into the first team environment, it's it's no different to them. You know, we're giving them good habits in, in the academy. And then when they make that step up, that's not too alien to them. Uh, they feel like they can they can make an impact just the way Dara and Ben have been doing this year. And you know, we've got two fantastic players coming through in in Adam and uh, and James.